Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, your go-to spot for all things SAP. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a bit. Today, we've got something really special lined up in our ABAP series. Want to get loud down on parameters in ABAP? You've come to the right place. Embrace yourselves because we've got an incredible guest for our upcoming videos. Meet Ladislav, a senior ABAP developer. He will be taking the reins to guide you through the intricacies of parameters. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you won't miss out. More info on Ladislav in the description below. See you soon. How to create a parameter inside of ABAP program? Let's take a look at that. In this session, we will create a parameter called p underscore tap underscore ns. P underscore means a naming convention for creation of parameters. Tab underscore tells us that we want to create a parameter that is going to have a type of database table in SAP. And NS means that this is going to contain no search help. So if I click on the parameter name, there is no search help going to be visible right next to the parameter name. Let's take a look on how we can define this parameter. So create your program by yourself. I go directly to the change mode, and if you want, you can download the source code template down below this video. In order to create and declare a parameter on a selection screen, we will use a keyword or statement called parameters. And then after the parameters keyword, we can start with the naming of our parameters. As I was mentioning in the beginning of this video, we will name this parameter P underscore tab underscore ns, which stands for parameter of a table type ns with no search help. The third component of creation of a parameter is the type keyword. Okay, so we start with the parameters keyword, then we name the parameter, and then we use the type. We have to define a type of that parameter. It can be character type, integer type, date type, time type, or whatever built-in type inside of SAP or we can use data elements from SE11 transaction. Since our goal is to create a parameter that is going to hold database table name inside of this parameter, we will use data element. Here is the SE11 transaction. If I go to the database table DD02L and hit display, this is a transparent table from SAP, which holds all the other SAP tables inside of your SAP system. And the first field of DD02L database table is called tab name, which has and contains the data element called tab name. In order to use this type from data element, we can just simply copy control C and paste the name of the data element inside of our parameter. And now we close this statement with a period. So let me just do the pretty printer for now. Syntax checker, activation of the code and execute the code. So that's how we define a parameter with no search help. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to give us a feedback on this series and tell us if you like the concept. See you soon for our next episode.